You know, it's said that we live in an age of polymers. It's a Bronze Age, Iron Age, and today the age of polymers. And you really think about it, we have cars made out of polymers, we eat off of polymers, we cook off of polymers, just about all of our lives are affected by polymers. And about 10 years ago, actually it's more like 15 years ago, when I forgot to, to turn off the water to my outside spigot during the winter, and it froze up, <laughs> and I had then the choice the following spring of either paying for a plumber or doing it myself, I decided to try it myself, went to the hardware store and got advice, and also got a spool of this stuff, Teflon tape. This stuff is wonderful. It uh, just looks like regular tape. It's not sticky at all. And it's used to wrap around a pipe fitting before you screw it together. It gives you a nice uh, tight fit. And being Teflon, of course, it's very slippery. But as I was wrapping the pipe with it, I noticed one interesting property about it. If you pull it, it, you really can't get it to stretch at all. It looked like it would have some elasticity, like electrician's tape does, but nothing. Unless you pull it this way, and then it stretches so easily you hardly even feel any resistance. And it stays stretched until you pull it this way again. I mean, this has polymer written all over it because you have to, I mean, you can just play with it for a while and you realize, I'll go to the board now, exactly how those polymer strands are oriented. All nice and parallel. Now when I'm talking about the, tef the Teflon polymer strands, we're talking about simply carbon bonded to carbon bonded to carbon. And if it were polyethylene, I'd have hydrogens on top and bottom all across. But with Teflon, every one of those hydrogens is replaced with a fluorine. It's formed the same way that polyethylene is formed. Polyethylene is formed from ethylene, those being hydrogens, of course. Polyeth polyethylene with the fluorines is formed form from this substance, which is, of course, called tetrafluoroethylene. So the full name for Teflon is polytetrafluoroethylene, which gets shortened to just Teflon. These polymer strands all being oriented like that, a nice little tight parallel arrangement means that if you try stretching it this way, you're essentially having to try to break covalent bonds. It's hard to do. You're having to break these carbon chains up. Stretching it this way is easy. All you're doing there is overcoming the intermolecular forces between the strands. Much easier. And when you do it, just kind of does like that, and stays like that until you pull it again. So I got to thinking, <laughs> and I was doing this with my middle daughter, Amy. Let's go in and play with this after we got the, the spigot fixed. And we did fix it. So. Um, so we started writing each other messages on this Teflon tape, <laughs> then distorting them by pulling it sideways, and then passing it on to each other, and then trying to see what they said beforehand. So I've got a message here. And can you see what I've written? You might be able to if you're good. But to decode it, I just simply have to pull these two ends. Here we go. Okay. I love chemistry. <laughs> Am I a nerd or what? <laughs> <laughs> and again, I can reuse this message just by grabbing the ends here. Let me grabbing it from the edges and just pulling it. You can actually pull it quite a bit before it starts to separate. So, one year I actually sent out Christmas cards written on Teflon tape and all like that and people had to open it. And, okay, I'm bad, I know it. And again, same message. 
I still do love chemistry. So, Teflon tape. Fun little activity. It really drives home the, the idea of polymer strands and the, the comparison between intermolecular forces and intramolecular forces, the covalent bonds, and their relative strengths. But also a nice little fun activity you can do with it. Thank you.